M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we're looking here at the AT578 UV3 Plus. Now I've decided to buy this. I've never had a 578 before and I thought I'd give it a go. I've had an Anytone 878 for, for many years. It's a VHF, UHF and DMR radio. It has separate uh, control knobs on the left here for VFO, A and B, and lots of programmable buttons, nice big LED, and look at this uh, microphone, nice chunky microphone. So looking forward to that. Now, what are the main features and why would I go for the new the UV3 model plus? Because it's got built-in Bluetooth, you've got your PTT that's also included, an external GPS antenna. The big thing is the APRS receive. That to me is a, a, a big deal. I can I can be out and about and li and look at the you know look at the packets on my radio, and five hundred thousand digital contacts. Then you've got four thousand channels, ten thousand contacts. Now the Anytone five seven eight UV Pro is very similar. I think the contacts for the Pro model is two hundred thousand, but otherwise pretty sure that everything else would be the same price wise you know this the one that I've got cost about 340 pound second hand you know you look at about 275 second hand for a radio like this even the 578 pro model is still a, a very good radio now it's identical looking you you couldn't see the difference between the 578 pro or the new, the new plus but you may as well if you're going to buy one go for the new one so this one's come from martin lynch obviously got gps and there's a whole list here of functions dual ptt text messaging what's that voice message hands-free aes emergency alarm weather gps aprs location reporting roaming crossband repeat as well now they do say that this the model they're supplying does not come with 220 megahertz band which i wouldn't use because i'm in the uk I did watch a video yesterday and I did make a video watching that about a program called AT Options where you can go in and change the settings so that it would use 220 megahertz but obviously that's at your own risk and if you're going to break your licensing conditions that's uh, that, well you can't do that so uh, but just showing you that the physically the hardware within the radio might actually still have 220 megahertz in but and a lot of my viewers are in america anyway so you'd be get, getting the tri-band model of this radio so thanks for watching let me know what you think i'm going to be playing around with the co plug today the co plug looks identical to the 878 anyway which i'm very familiar with and um, you can buy ready a lot of ready-made co plugs and bridge comm systems in america they're just fantastic as well but we don't have them in the uk and thanks to martin lynch for providing the one that I've purchased. Now, interestingly, we've got this other thing that's come out that I noticed Martin Lynch do sell. They're about, let's see if I can see it on their price thing, look, £140. And you come up with this, this device here, which will wirelessly connect to the 578. And then you can walk around your house or be in your car without being tied. Now, I've noticed a little Ethernet thing here. Not sure what that means. Um, so... That's definitely going to be something we're going to need to play with to see what we think. That's the BT, BT01 Bluetooth mic. So thanks for watching my channel. We'll do a video on that one as well. Bye for now. All the best.